So the elk fills this interesting role in super auto pets, enabling you to hold on to sell pets much longer than you normally would want to. The way that it works in this weekly is you essentially get a level two, level three beaver. You pivot into an elk as soon as possible, and then you get your beaver up to around 29, 30 gold if possible. And then you just do this huge pivot, get an amazing team going, very unique ability. Should make for a good time. Hope you enjoy. All right, double Alchemedes. Oh, okay, there's something about the ferret. <laughs> it feels like it should be good. It just never actually works well for me. I don't know what it is. Like it's a 2-1, not very exciting, but you get the balloons, you get the stats permanently. It feels like it should be better later on than it actually is. I don't know. Part of me feels like there's like a tempo element to the game, you know? Like even if you're stronger because of the balloon, whatever tempo <laughs> delta you had overpowers it. I don't know what it is. Um, unfortunate. We're gonna get our, our beaver just straight up smacked out here. Not that it really matters because they have a 5-5 five, five Alchemedes. I don't even know how that happened. How do you get 5 attack on them? What the heck? Alright, beaver level. Beaver? Beetle level. You get two levels actually. I think we're keeping the mole around here. Maybe. I mean, the beetle is one. That's one perk it can use. I'm gonna have to locate another one here. Uh, looks like we're gonna draw totally fine. Draws our wins. You know how it is. <laughs> Let's try combining some beavers. Maybe find some cherries or something to help our mole. Let's keep... Yeah, I don't know. Kangaroo is really good behind an Osprey, so I think we do this. Hold the beaver until next time. We did find cherries. Put it anywhere except for the beetle. Yeah, so whenever you're running mole, you know, you, you always want the start of battle perks, obviously. You don't want a garlic that's not going to do anything. You definitely don't want a melon, because that can get broken if they get sniped by like a mosquito. So that, that's, that's not ideal either. We got an elk. We got an elk. Okay, ditch the beetle. We're just gonna have to get another... I mean, Fig is good here, right? Keep the mole cooking. Um, let's see... There's another Fig if we want it. I think generally, you know, try to get the double up on the mole. If we can find an Ox... The Ox actually pairs very well with the mole. Okay. Oh man, that hurts. The six attack on the six health, that hurts. Beaver level three incoming, question mark, maybe? We'll see. There's another one. So let's just lay out dream scenario here. Figs are doing work, by the way. Dream scenario, we get beaver level three. We get elk, probably level two. I don't think we need a level three elk. And then we just, you know, full send, go absolutely insane. Get the beaver up to 30, I guess 29 gold cell value. Because um, 30, you're capped at 30. Okay, so once we get to 29 or above, uh, the, the payoff is just gone. It just hard drop off. But if we can get to 30, that's a pretty big pivot turn. <laughs> that's, that's not too bad. Um, let's, okay, so, so Rooster with the cotton candy is going to be a good stand-in for now, I think. We can get a little bit, a little bit creative here. Hoping that the Rooster will keep us alive for longer. And can I just say cotton candy, I think is my favorite food, to, like, ever. <laughs> like, for as far as, like, scaling foods. It's so satisfying getting a 3-2 buff on tier 4. I don't know, something about it. Especially when you're on like a rooster, which is like a tag based. It's solid. It's very solid. Um, okay, so we still get... This guy's gonna be pretty thick. Oh, we're actually good. Okay. 
We get the chick. Another rooster. More cotton candy, please. That would be huge. We oh, hold on, hold on. We got a moose donut in the shop and a tier one. Maybe there's something here. There's no hippocampus, of course, but two more tier ones. I mean, sometimes the health is just worth it. Like that's nine health right now. You can just get nine health that easy. It, <laughs> that's that's pretty good. Um, that that's unfortunate. Uh, we got sniped, so our our beaver didn't get the buff. We do draw. Like I said, draws are wins, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. And we got cotton candy. That's huge. What else can we get here? Also, if you look at the delta, right, between cotton candy and like an eat me cake, both in the same tier, both attack focused, eat me cake is two additional attack for minus four health. Like, let's just let that sink in to show you just how good cotton candy is. Not saying that eat me cake is like the best thing ever, but you know, another draw. How many times can we draw? <laughs> Let's find out. Ooh, okay, okay. Lioness feels like perfect pivot turn territory. Let's start it up, run the double lioness, grab a tomato in here. I think that's gonna be the play. And then we just start scaling. I think that's gonna be the focus, okay? we Once we get beaver to 30, once we get him to 30 gold, we're gonna sell and just full send the lioness squad with the hopes that that's just enough to win. I don't know if it will be, but that's the idea. Okay, we get a rooster, that's huge. I'm kinda eyeing this hammerhead here. We have a level three at 25. So we could greet it one more turn and then we'll full send. Maybe we can level up into another lioness here. No, <laughs> we do not. Well, we might as well throw in a hammerhead here, right? We got the level three. It'll give us a little extra gold. Um, we can use up the gold before we sell the beaver too. So it's not like it's going to waste or anything. All right, what do we got? Don't think we're gonna win this one, y'all. <laughs> Brace for the horse. Because that is a large stegosaurus. I like their steampunk hats though. So fun. Alright, now is the pivot turn that everybody has been waiting for. Let's see what we got. We're just looking for lioness right now. Many different lionesses we can find. I think that's gonna be our most our safest scaler. Um cat normally doesn't work as well. Unless you have the likes of Stegosaurus to back it up, which we don't. So let's just get a little, let's just go for the lioness. It's the perfect pivot. Hammerhead. Thank you, thank you. Mm. Okay, we have a, we have a rooster. Do we want a rooster here? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. A hamster. You could stack some hamsters, that's not too bad. They'll throw in the rooster. Okay, we got chocolate. So here's what I'm thinking. If we get the rooster to level three, he's gonna be maxed. Like his, his he won't be able to stat up anymore, right? Um, until, well, ever really. Cause you know, you can't buff him with the lioness shot pet. So maybe we hold off on the level 3 rooster here um, until the attack gets there and then we can buff up the attack to match up his health. I think that might be our play. We could always level our, our hamster if we want to. Um, get the lioness going, another hammerhead, and maybe next turn. We could actually side stack some hammerheads. We get 9 gold, that's not too bad. And then we just don't freeze this hamster. And then we save the rooster for later. We could also do like a side stack rooster kind of play too. No biggie, I'd rather side stack lioness. 
We get plus 10, plus 10 every round on the shop. That's just perfect. Uh, quick snipe here. All right, now I'm getting a little worried. We're down to two hearts. Okay, um, we're gonna have to do a little bit of mid, mid pivot, pivoting. <laughs> Uh, let's switch over here, grab a phoenix, because he's pretty big. I mean, the, the eagle is also not bad here. I don't know if we have any anywhere to put him right now. But I do think our roosters, the little chicks, summoning three eleven ones, that's still pretty good. Surely it's better than a 32-32 harpy eagle, right? Right? If we get like one more good turn with the lionesses, we can like do a, a bigger pivot. Or just like, I don't think the delta is high enough at this point to justify getting rid of our level 3 rooster yet. Uh, well, <laughs> tell you what. <laughs> For a lioness, I'll make an exception. Oh, another lioness. Maybe we just buff the stats on this one. Let's not get too crazy. Yeah, I think this is good. We get some more shop buffs here. One more turn and we should be 50-50. Looking good. Oh, didn't mean to click that. Let's see. We're going to be one off of killing the Stegosaurus. That hurts. Okay, he took care of it for us. <laughs> Thank you, great one. I appreciate it. Okay. Um, dude, come on. Two times in the single game. Alright, this is ridiculous. I don't know what it is about the hammerhead shark. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Like, it does, it, it makes sense. I get what the ability does, but it doesn't jive with my brain. I don't know what it is. I can't explain it any better. It's just like, I'm just like, oh yeah, we have a level three. Let's never think about it ever again. <laughs> and then we sell the level three. Never thinking about it ever again. And yeah, whatever. But we do have a level three now. So Hammerhead will go off. Fear not. And then that'll make for the perfect pivot, I think. Get everybody going here. Okay. We are going to lose this one. But again... 50-50s all around. Perfect pivot. We got six extra gold. It's gotta be it. Um, we could actually get extra gold from our hammerhead if we can find another one to make him 50. If we can't find another one, um, I think we get rid of him. But at this point, I think we get... First, get rid of the lioness. Because we know there's no ability coming out of the lioness. And then we focus on getting the rest of the guys going. Like we could find a phoenix. Potentially. Looking good. Another harpy eagle. Um, hmm. What if we freeze these two? And then we roll once. If we got a phoenix or a hammerhead, we could have pivoted there. But now let's just full send. And okay, you might be thinking, hey... What's the point of the Stegosaurus here, right, if you if you are all 50-50? Well, this is the point. It replenishes health after we get sniped, inevitably. Beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. That's going great. Stegosaurus is kind of nice, too, because plus two, plus three. So it's more health-focused than attack. So it works well in this application here. Better than a 3-2 would. Okay, we get a level 2. We'll take it. Um, so right now our melon's going on our eagle. Which is, I think is okay. I don't mind that. Dude, these harpy eagles? Going kinda hard. Kinda hard. Um, yeah. <laughs> I like how everybody just... You know, the one level 2 Harpy Eagle gets hit, and all of the figs are just like, Kill him! <laughs> Get rid of him now! Oh, and our chicks got tossed. Feels bad. 
Okay. I mean, yeah, I think at this point we're just... Obviously, we're just looking for levels. Um, Spinosaurus. We'll grab him, I guess. It's not, like, the primary focus, but if we find him, we'll take him. Uh, thank you for not being at 50 attack. I appreciate it. Um, how's this gonna go? His donkey is just ravaging our team right now. <laughs> If we weren't so far ahead, that might have been a little dicey. I don't think we got any summon value off of anybody. Okay. Um. Oh, how do we want to do this? Okay, well that makes it easier. I was considering doing like a merge the Harpy Eagles to a level 3. Doing like a level 1 and a level 3, but... Nah, we'll just take the level 3 rooster, call it a day. I feel like with the level 3 rooster here, you really can't go wrong, right? Well, he didn't even get to go, but... <laughs> In theory, you know? Short of the rooster hitting a whale holding a great one, you know, that's 75 damage they're dishing out here. That's pretty solid. Well, as you can see, I hope this, this identified how good the elk pivot is. It could not have been done without it. Even though it was like a lioness, you know, kind of made it happen. It was all the elk. It was all built on the back of our elk homie. Love him. Love the elk homie.